What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. Welcome back to my next episode of the United States of Joe Winko. Um, the winner of last episode's trivia question was Cool Kid Four Five Six. So congratulations to Cool Kid Four Five Six. They are going to be the mayor of my next city, which I'm going to create right here. And this city is going to be called Jefferson City, Missouri. So let's get this party started. Hope this works out. Okay, so, um, what should I talk about? I think I might have gone through Jefferson, Missouri, but I'm not exactly sure. I remember last summer when the stranger from Craigslist took me on the road trip to Arkansas. We did go on Interstate, what is it, Interstate like 44, I think? No, I don't think that's what it was. I think it was Interstate 70. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's the... It's the interstate I'm supposed to be building that goes through this city. I know Interstate 44 goes through this city, though. Yeah, I think it's Interstate 70. Not exactly sure, but I'll double check. Just need to add all the trees first. Missouri does have a lot of trees. But not quite as many as Michigan. Michigan is a state that has like tons of trees. Like compared to all the states that I've been through. I think that's because it's surrounded by the Great Lakes. Michigan is honestly a really beautiful state. I like it. But I never want to live there. It's way too cold. I don't like the cold at all. I wouldn't want to live in Missouri either, because it's too cold. Not as cold as Wisconsin was, but still too cold nonetheless. Okay, Cool Kid 456, Jefferson City, Missouri. Alright, so congratulations to Cool Kid 456. So, I know that there's no interstate going... Well, the only interstates that go through this are this one, which I think is Interstate 70. I'll have to double check. They're all elevated highways. That's another thing I noticed. That's how I made all of them. You can also have the ground level highways, but I really only use those when like the highway is ending. And when it turns into an avenue. Okay, so there's Interstate 70, which goes to Kansas City, Missouri. A city I haven't built yet, but I will build it later. I think that's Interstate 70. God, double check. <laughs> Gosh, can't be so sure, can I? Okay, so... Next... this. Oh, damn. Didn't notice how complicated this landscape and terrain was. I wish it could all just be, like, really flat. That'd be so much easier. The reason why the hills and the curves are all sharp is because, um, that's because, like, it's scaled down. Like, if it was actually the size of the real USA, it would all be a lot softer and smoother. Okay, so that looks nice. Alright, so that's it for Interstate 4. I mean, not Interstate 4. That's in Florida. <laughs> Let me just save real quick. 
Got to pull out my iPod Touch and check Google Maps, see what interstate this is supposed to be. I'll recognize it right away, even though they're not quite the same as the real ones. I do that a lot in the United States of Jerowinko, whenever I'm building a city. Okay, so that is Interstate 70. Okay, then. <laughs> and that huge river that goes through it. Well, there's a ton of rivers going through it. And a bunch of roads from St. Louis. Let me add on to these roads. Don't like that bridge, though. Oh, wait, this one's nicer. Oh, there's no city that's north of here. Well, there will be eventually. And better give them access to the interstate, too. So, uh, yeah, I haven't really been doing much lately. It's hot down here in Florida, so I haven't been outside very much either. I can't stand the way it feels when I walk outside. It's all, like, hot and muggy. It's, like, kind of miserable, really. I mean, I'm glad I'm out of Wisconsin, but the Florida humidity during the summer... It's not good. I mean, it's not really the heat that gets to me. It's the... It's the humid... It's the humidity. It's all hot and muggy. It feels like I'm walking through a vat of maple syrup. That's literally what it feels like. I mean, I do love Florida, though, but... Just not the humidity. Wisconsin had humidity, too, but not like this. Okay, so are there any other roads? Oh yeah, there are a couple. Also, the people who live down in Florida, like a lot of the ones that I cross paths with, are really nasty. Like they... I, I don't even want to get into detail on what I mean by that, but I'm pretty sure you guys know. If you watch my episodes of Joe Winko Talk, the ones about my personal life, you probably will know. Oh shit, did not mean to do that. Elder Scrolls Skyrim is a lot of fun too. Thinking of doing more play playthroughs for that sometime. I was gonna do one tonight, but I just didn't really feel like getting the whole live stream set up and everything. I should have, though. That would have been awesome. But I'll have time. Maybe I can do it tonight. I haven't really been doing uh, that many videos for YouTube lately because my adoptive parents' relatives, they've been home a lot lately, and I just didn't want them, like, I just didn't want them eavesdropping on what I say in my YouTube videos. If you guys get what I'm saying. Like, they probably wouldn't have cared at all, but still. Like, believe it or not, I'm actually the type of person who likes to keep to myself. I mean, if they were living like a thousand miles away from me, and they weren't... Well, they probably don't care about the stuff that goes on in my personal life anyway. Like, come on, like, oh, the guy who's living in that room downstairs with us, he's trying to find a lover or partner who wants to take him on long road trips to a bunch of morbid places. Like, get what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. I say the weirdest stuff. I'm just talking off the tip of my head right now. So, are those all the roads? 
I think those are, but I didn't build any that go to... Oh man, that's the only... Yeah, I better add more. The cities in the United States of Joe Winko are supposed to be connected. So, peop so the Sims can road trip anywhere. But actually, there are quite a few cities uh, right now that currently are not connected to the rest of the map. I mean, like by road or anything. Like that one city I made, uh, Corpus, what was it called? Corpus Crispy, Texas. It's not connected to the rest of the United States to Joe Winko. I'm, I was eventually going to add more cities in the Texas area of this map so they are connected. But I didn't really feel like doing that yet because, oh wait, I didn't really feel like doing that yet because uh, I was supposed to, I'm making a Sims 2 horror movie eventually that takes place in Texas, Ugh, as much as I hate announcing that because I don't want a whole bunch of people going like, oh, winter Sims 2 horror movie about Texas coming out. Like, I have to finish my one about Arkansas first. The reason why is because, you know how at the end of every episode of the United States of Joe Winko where I ask a trivia question? Um, I wanted to have the trivia questions be about my Arkansas and Texas uh, Sims 2 horror movies before I get to that. Alright, I think you guys understand it now, but whatever. Okay, so let's, let's move on. <laughs> That's what I need to learn to do. Move on. I always get mad when someone on a dating site, like, stops talking to me and, like, moves on to find... Oh, holy crap! <laughs> I just remembered something! I need to throw down the money trees! Okay. Control-Shift-X or Control-Shift-C... Oh, oops, that's not right. Control Shift X. Okay, weakness pays. <laughs> I love how they love how this game like I love how this game disses you for using cheats. It's hilarious. Yeah, weakness pays. Well, that's how the United States of Joe Winko got so successful. I don't know why those yellow circles showed up on the screen. I don't know. Okay, I still don't have enough to build the rest of it. Let me just speed it up some. Okay, now I do. Just had to wait for a month to pass. That's how those money trees work. Okay, so... And I can't build... What the hell? Okay, let me tear that down. Alright, so that connected it. Shit. That's the thing about working with the terrains when they're shaped like this. It's complicated. Alright, I don't think I can build a bridge there, so I'm just going to tear this down. And tear this down. All right, that works. Okay, so let me add some more roads, just for the hell of it. How does that? Okay, it looks good enough.
Ooh, I like that bridge. Okay, so I think I added enough roads. Here's what it looks like. The city isn't going to be really big. I'm just going to make mostly zone like uh, medium density residential everywhere. Got to throw down my highway signs though. Interstate 40, 95, nope, that's not it. 85, 65, 94. Darn it, why can't I find those? Well, yeah, because I have so many mods installed. Okay, there's the Interstate 44 sign. Okay, so those are all ready. Next, I need to find the Interstate 70 signs, which I just did, really. <laughs> Let me throw those down. Okay, so got that ready. Let me just save. Glad I took care of that. There's still some more stuff though. Like converting these into roundabouts. Okay, so next, all right, let me throw down the landmarks. There's only a few. The, oh, I found those right away. The Jefferson, Missouri, Mizzio columns. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but uh, <laughs> I think this would be a nice area for the downtown, so I'll put them right there. And let me build a road around that. Because I'm also going to be adding the Missouri Capitol building. And I can't find it. <laughs> if I can find it, that is. Because there's so much stuff I have installed. And it's not... It's not easy to find. I think that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm talking off the tip of my head right now. Like, I've been... Haven't been out that much. Been inside this house for so long. Been wanting to get out, but... The tr I'm pretty sure you all know my whole explanation behind everything. The traffic here in the city I live in in Florida is way too bad. Don't want to go out riding my bike. Because I'm worried about getting splattered by a car. <laughs> Been trying to find someone to hang out with. Always trying to find someone to hang out with. But everyone in this state, I mean, well, all the gay guys in this state, all of them just want sex. And it's absolutely disgusting. And they literally prude shame me for not hooking up with them because they're disgusting and they're mad because I don't want to catch HIV. I know, that all sounds really crazy, but the thing is, it's true. 
What a bunch of dumbasses, seriously. You know, I know that things in my life aren't quite the way I hoped for them to be. Well, actually, they kind of are. I mean, I am living in Florida, even though, um... Oh, wait, one sec. Gotta add these, the Missouri flags. <laughs> I love those flags. Even though it's not quite as fun as I thought it would be, um... At least I'm out of Wisconsin forever, so... That's what you always have... That's how you have to think. Like, it could be much worse. And it honestly could be. But it could also be a lot better. But... Eh. It could be much worse, also, so... Just gotta remind yourself of that. Alright, so let's start adding some stuff to Jefferson, Missouri. We're gonna need some... Well, first, we're gonna need a bus stop. And... Parking garage. And some lights. What about all the residential areas? I'll have those be... I want it all to be next to each other, so... I'll build those right over here. And... Have more access to Interstate 70. Have more roads here. That looks good. Build frontage road here. <laughs> frontage road. The reason why I always say that whenever I build a, a road running parallel to an interstate, that's usually what they call it, frontage road, when a road runs right by an interstate. <laughs> yeah, interesting thing I learned from looking at Google Maps so much. Oh gosh, gotta throw down a water pump too. And I hope that wasn't high density residential. I don't want that many people living here. I mean, because it's Jefferson, Missouri. It's not supposed to be like some populated big city like, like uh, St. Louis is. Like, you can barely even see it on a map. That's another thing. I mean, no offense to anyone who lives in Jefferson, Missouri, because I would actually... I honestly would love to live in a small town where I don't have to worry about getting splattered by a car because people don't drive crazy there, because there's not too many people to start with, and where there's not a bunch of gross guys who are only looking for sex, but uh, yeah, you would even find that in a small town, but still, you wouldn't find it as much in a small town, because you wouldn't find hardly anyone in a small town. That's how I thought Florida was going to be. I thought it was going to be a bunch of lonely people who wanted to get away and go live someplace warm. I didn't think it would be like a like a disgusting place full of like people who just want to hook up. I mean, gosh. I mean, it makes me sick just thinking about it. Okay, so got the water pipes everywhere. I guess. Oh, uh, there's a lot more I need to add. I need to add a couple clinics. Yeah, and I need to add a library. Large police station. High school. Elementary school. A college. Make sure they're all getting paid enough. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to set. The city audiences. We're already at a population of 1,000 right now.
Okay, build all styles at once. Put all the taxes on zero. Except for dirty industrial. Agricultural, dirty industrial, manufacturing, high tech industry. Okay, so public safety. Oh yeah, that's another important thing I should add. Fire department. Because I don't want them to... Even though fires really only happen in industrial areas in SimCity 4, still don't want to take my chances with that. So... Population of almost 2,000 right now. And they have no places to... Oh, wait. Yeah, just gonna add a patch of commercial zoning. So they can go there and work and whatever, you know. <laughs> the shit people do in real life. Now, um, not sure what else I should add. Oh, uh, yeah, I just remembered. You need to add a landfill zone. I'll have it be right here. Hate adding landfill zones. Ugh. And also, throw in a recycling center. And a bus stop so whoever works at the recycling center can easily get there. And adjust the city oriences. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Alright, so... Ooh, wow, it's building up pretty good. So, Jefferson, Missouri is looking pretty awesome right now. We are now at a population, population of 4,000. So, time to add more medium density residential so more Sims could move in. And let me just replace these streets with roads so the traffic doesn't become an issue Okay, so... Oh, they finally added the large elementary school. That'll help. How many kids are at that high school? 
Oh, only 15. Okay. We don't need to add the large high school yet. <laughs> Aw. This is awesome. Definitely not as big as my other cities in the United States of Joanko, but still quite a decent size. Again, this was supposed to be a small city anyway. So, low density commercial. It looks like they need a police department over by here. Well, police department and a fire station. That should help things. Let me speed it up some. Oh yeah, there's another thing I want to add. The Greyhound bus station terminal. I'm trying to add those to every single city in the United States of Geowinko. Since I absolutely love the Greyhound bus. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't necessarily love riding the Greyhound bus. There's a lot of things that would make it better, like more comfortable seats and everything. But it isn't too bad. It's better than flying on an airplane. Like, if someone who lived out in California wanted me to come visit them, I would much rather take a Greyhound bus all the way from Florida to California than to fly out there. And I, I hope you guys know that I'm not kidding when I say that. <laughs> Seriously, I hate being up in the air. <laughs> so, we're at a population of 9,507, but I really wouldn't want to visit California anyway. I mean, it's too dry and it's too overrated. I prefer the East Coast better. But one thing that California has that Florida does, I mean, California doesn't have to deal with, that Florida does have to deal with, is the heat and, I mean, is the humidity. I mean, it does get hot in California, but it doesn't get, like, humid and sticky like Florida does. I mean, jeesh. Almost like someone put me back into my biological mother's womb. <laughs> Sorry to gross you guys out. I'm starting to sound I'm starting to sound like uh one of those weird uh one of those weird uh what's it called? Those weird um hosts from the radio stations on in Grand Theft Auto. Okay, so I need to add more stuff to here. I didn't know Sims would like move in right away. Gosh, like before I added all the necessities. Gosh, we didn't, I didn't even add a water pump yet. And they all moved in? Well, it's the United States of Joe Winko. Everyone wants to live here. It is a much better country than the real USA, I can tell you that. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh, yeah. If I was actually the one running this country, could you imagine, though? <laughs> so, clinics, fire stations. Oh, wait. Do the cops? Oh, they do patrol that area. Okay, good. What about the schools? Yeah, they kind of do. Eh, worst case scenario, I could just add a... Well, I'll just add one anyway. Elementary school. And another road. And what? Connect this to that.
large high school. And probably a library too. Those always come in handy. Along with the with the hospital too. And medium density residential. Let me see how long it takes for those areas to... Oh, okay, it didn't take long at all. <laughs> Alright, we're at a population of 10,000 so far. Yeah, I didn't want the city to be too big, so... Um... I'm wondering if... Oh wait, I know what I was going to do. That's basically all the zoning I wanted to do. I'll add more later. Um, there's my sim mode, where you can move sims in and ask them what they think of the city. So... Josh Groupie. <laughs> yeah, that must be one of my... Must be one of my sims I created. Well, it is one of my sims I created. I didn't know I gave them last names like that. Oh gosh, it's poor health? But they have clinics there. What the hell? Alright, so I'll have them move into there. Um, let me add another clinic. I want the health to be good for all of them. So let me see what he thinks of the city. So back to my sim mode. Police out of control. Oh yeah, if you have the... If the police are getting paid too much, it'll lead to corruption. So yeah, it's pretty... It's funny how realistic this game is. Kind of reminds me of real life. Desires a degree. Okay, so he wants a college. All right, I'll put one right there. There's your college, Josh. I mean, is that what his name is? I don't know. And yeah. I've moved. Now I'm living at Brick Walk Up. Isn't that where I moved him into? I really appreciate one of these aerial views of Jefferson City, Missouri. Now, so I can pinpoint my house whenever I'm on a plane. Thanks. His house whenever he's on a plane? There's no airport here. What is he talking about? And do people actually... Oh, they do commute all the way to, uh... St. Louis, but they don't go west because I haven't built Kansas City, Missouri yet. Okay, so, so far the one sim that in my sim mode that we have living here, he actually likes uh, Jefferson City, and you know what? I agree with them. I like it a lot too. Let me take a picture of it, what it looks like now. Okay, so... Yep, that looks nice. Let me take a picture of the Capitol building, which there's not much stuff around. I need to add more. Oh, by the way, did I unlock anything yet? Let me see. Oh yeah, the mayor's house. 
I'll put that right here. And a statue of the mayor. I'll put that right there. And a house of worship. I'll put that right there. And should I add more water pot? Oh, yep. I have those. And is that everything? Yeah, that's everything I unlocked so far. <laughs> Let me check how much the Greyhound bus terminal is being used. Oh, it actually... It, okay, only 4%, but at least it actually is being used. And what the hell? Are those palm trees? It's not supposed to be palm trees in Missouri. Well, they could be fake. I wish it was more realistic in terms of that. You can, like, establish where palm trees can be grown so they aren't showing up in random places. Let me add some more residential zoning. Oh wait, oops. No, I don't want to add more residential zoning. Want to make sure it's low density residential. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> so technically I did want to add residential zoning, but just not, uh, no, never mind. Just wanted to be more specific on what I wanted to add. I think that makes more sense. Okay, whatever. I think I could just... Okay, so we're at a population of 11,399 sims, and that's only going up, I guess, I hope, I don't know. Oh wait, no, it just went down. Okay, never mind. <laughs> What's he blabbering about? Okay, so as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna pause and I'm just gonna save and end this part of the playthrough right here. So yeah, thanks so much to, um, thanks so much to, uh, CoolKid456 for answering last episode's trivia question correctly. Uh, I really appreciate it. It always gets me hyped to add a new city to the United States of Joe Winko, even if the city's not that big. But uh, yeah, so congratulations. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget to answer this episode's trivia question correctly so you can become the mayor of my next city in the United States of Joe Winko. So that's it. Peace out, people. This episode's trivia question. Who were the killers in Joe Winko's 2013 Sims 2 slasher film, Knifed 5, Knife of Doom? Answer this question in the comments. The first person to comment the correct answer will be crowned the mayor in my next city of the United States of Joe Winko. Please also mention the name you want to be listed as. Remember, you must use the same name at all times. That is it. Peace out, people.